Oh, dang. Okay. G Man, good to see you, bro. Great to see you. How did you challenge yourself, um, not only in the spring, but in the offseason, to get better as a coordinator after having a really good year uh, and, and your defense getting better after having a really good statistical year? Yeah, the, 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 a lot of it comes back to you know, who you're around. And the one thing that Coach Rule does is always, he's always looking for an advantage. So um, going back and looking at the things that we need to work on was first and foremost, you know, like taking the ball away, being better on third downs, uh, getting some guys matched up better in the secondary. But also, you know, I, I was fortunate to be around some, some really good defensive coaches as well. And they, uh, every year, every year it's a, it's a new team, it's a new attitude. So you go into it like the first year, you know what I mean? And so the, the very first message yesterday uh, we got together as a D staff was this group hasn't done anything. You know, I haven't done anything. You know, I'm on suit. I'm on approach it like that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna move forward that way. And we got a lot to prove and put that chip on our shoulder and let's roll. Obviously, John Butler has a really good resume. But besides that, when you talk through it with him, what what made it feel like this fits really well? Yeah, yeah. he's uh, again his energy. You know, when you when you see him, you know he's a, he's an old school Philly guy. So you, you you're looking at him, and you don't know you don't know how he's going to come across. And all of a sudden, he sits down with you, and it's like bam, 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 bam. Don't stop me. Let me go. You know, da da. So he's uh, he's he's really. Uh, he's really what the guys need right now, you know, in terms of energy, in terms of that fire. And then you sit down and you listen to him talk, and then you can see all of his experience come out, all the different techniques, all the all the things he had to do in the league, and who and the and the people he was around. And so, um, I think Coach Rule, you know, we uh, during the during the summer break when all this stuff happened, you know, we had gone through and and had a list of guys, and we're talking to different guys, and then. Uh, you know, he brought he brought the name up, and it was like let's 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 talk with him and all that stuff. And then immediately after talking to him the first time, I was like, Coach, he he might be the dude. You know, advancing the football, uh, keeping the guys uh, on the same path of the NFL development, making sure that they're ready for the next level, and then keeping the standards high. So it was uh, it was refreshing to be around him so far. How, about you, how much of a challenge has it been for you since July sixth to get him ready? I mean, what kind of challenge is that? <clears throat> 25 days or whatever. Yeah, yeah, everybody's different. And the one thing that he said, you know, what, good coaches are good teachers. You know what I mean? So they're able to absorb information and then they're able to, to put it in, in different buckets and then be able to, to, to get their guys to play. And so the first thing you know about John is when we were talking defense, you know, he was just putting it in buckets. And again, that, that goes back to the experience. Oh, it's just like this, no problem. It's just like this, it's just like this. So uh, really made it feel, made, made us all feel comfortable about uh, the way he's going to teach and, and really it just comes down to terminology. This is how we say it here. This is how he's, he was used to saying it. And, and one of the first things he did was say, hey, instead of having, you know, 30 plus guys, 40 plus guys learn his wording and how he used to say things like I need to learn the way we do it here. And so, again, you got a guy who uh, knows a lot, but he's really He's humble to the point of like, hey, let me let me see, let me hear, let me do how we do things here. You know how how uh, we can advance the guys here and and roll. So it's uh, again, it, it's really neat to be around him, his thoughts. Um, but he's always keeping it of how we do things here. Hey, Tony, you guys added Sierra Wright late. Um, obviously, a guy with a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. How how where's he at? Kind of just from what you've seen or heard early on, and how do you yeah. bring him along? So yeah, extremely talented. I mean, you you watch him just naturally and. Uh, and you can see why he was one of the top recruits in the country, period. You know, he's very athletic, uh, very fluid in his hips. Uh, he's, he's pretty smart uh, as well. So again, it's just, you know, you're trained a certain way at a different institution. And then you come over here and you realize things are, things are vastly different. You know, the standards are, are, are just different. And the way we do things on defense are just different than the way he was used to doing things. So uh, that's our responsibility to make sure that he, he understands that. He's always held to that standard and uh, that he's putting it on the grass. You know, again, a lot of guys, a lot of guys talk about it, but you know, it's hard to not be a man of action when you're not around, when you're around Corey, when you're around Kristen, when you're around, uh, especially now Coach Butler, myself. You know, all the guys in the locker room, GIF. Um, so he's a guy who we're counting on to make sure he knows uh, uh, what to do, how to do it, and then and then let him go and compete. Uh, the moment is past, but uh, just I know it's early. But how have you seen John um, interact with the guys at all, if at all? Uh, Butler. Yes. Yeah, 
Oh, same way. I mean, again, he, he's had he's had a, a, a couple sit downs and with the with the guys uh, in terms of the DBs and and he is he his knowledge comes across right away. And so the guys the guys know what he that he knows what he's talking about. So um, uh, I think right now it's more so they know him football wise. They know the X's and O's. They've seen the resume. Now it's more so building that chemistry with them. You know, just off the grass. Uh, doing things like that, being around them so he knows. So it, things become instinctual. So um, that's what fall camp is for, right? I mean, us, I, mean, I, I haven't checked in in my dorm room yet, but uh, uh, coach is having us check in and we are around the guys. And he, he, the first thing he said was, hey, we're sleeping in the dorm. So no sneaking off anywhere, no nothing. We're, we're held to the same standards as a player. So, uh, but that's all for us being around the guys. So that way they know we're all in it as well. Get your own room, or do you have to bunk up? Nah, bro. Nah, coordinated. We, I, I got my own room so far, so far. So there's two beds in there. So I don't know if T Knight took the other one. So we'll, we'll see. But don't jinx, don't jinx me now like that. Don't jinx me. Did you get the upgrade to like the RA suite or something? Nah, bro. Nah, I got the the two wooden beds. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It might be the same room as last year. So I don't know. I, I, I haven't checked in yet. So. You have a roommate last year? No, no, I did not. Luckily, but. This is a new year, and I ain't done nothing, so who knows? <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Coach Rule talked about how important it was in the spring for guys like Gifford and Ty, some of your leaders, to not be in playing every down so you could build depth and whatever, but not just that, but to have the guys kind of act, think like coaches. Yep. How will that help in that development and then be a more player-led defense? Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, they, they it's all perspective, right? You more perspective that you have, then you understand why people say things, why people believe things. So uh, it was it – was, it was great to see because coach actually, you know, in the spring when things were happening, he had all those older guys, he had most of them together. And so he would go to him when a situation happened and he'd be like, Hey, did you see why we did this? Did you see why the call here? This is why we want to do this. So, uh, you see the guys actively coaching the guys. So that, that kind of thing, again, chemistry in terms of, uh, FBI football intelligence on the field in terms of game situations, all that stuff is invaluable when, when especially coming from the head man. You know what I mean? Like he, he pulls all those guys aside and, and is coaching them, giving them knowledge of the game and all that stuff. Like you, you, can't, you can't replicate that any other way. So um, then being around, helping, being able to help the younger guys because, you know, if you look at all the positions, you got this group that have played and has experience. And then you got a group that, I mean, they just showed up, you know what I mean? So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need some help uh, from the players, you know, coaching the other players when when our eyes are out there when they're not in. So, um, but that's the kind of culture you want, right? Players players being coaches themselves. So, in your collegiate coaching career, have you ever had uh, a defensive line with this much seasoning and experience? No, I mean, you got a lot of playmakers up there. You got a lot of you got a lot of uh, snaps under their belt. I think it helped last year, especially throwing all those guys in there, seeing what they can do, uh, them running with it. And uh, I mean, guys coming up out of the blue, you know, like the like uh, uh, Prince Will and Cam, and then Riley Pop coming up, and then James Williams coming out of nowhere, and those guys getting valuable valuable reps and and playing ball and stuff. So um, uh, it's a it's a it's a good problem to have, right? You know, I mean, you always got problems. You got guys who ain't played, or you got too many guys who played, and, and this is a this is a good good problem to have, especially with the way things are set up now, and you know, being able to play those extra games later on. I think uh, taking snaps off the big guys are going to pay dividends later on. I know we uh, we look at you know every player and want to see them develop, right? But there, there does seem to be something about Prince Will, his potential yeah. as a pass rusher. Right? What does he have to do? take the next step as a player in, in this year and in subsequent. Yeah, he has to be consistent. You know, he has to he has to uh, show up every day. He has to uh, take care of his body. He's got to put it on the grass. You know, again, when when you when you talk about flashes, that means that that you you've seen what he can do. Now again, year 2, expectations are higher. Uh, standards are raised, so now it's time to be consistently that guy. Versus saying, "Hey, here and there, you see it," and then all of a sudden, you know, you kind of you kind of don't hear it anymore. And he's that type of guy. I mean, he he's a next level player. I mean, he's he's big, he's tall, he's fast, he's explosive, he's twitchy. And so now you got to put the knowledge behind it, and you got to put the attitude behind it, and you got a guy who who can go out there and make plays. So. All right, appreciate everybody.